All right, this is Nothing Else by Cody Carnies, if you pronounce it that way, in the key of G. Um, I hope you love this simplified uh, version. It is so beautiful, so lovely. Uh, make sure to stop the video, click on the description below, and I do have the printable chord sheet that you can follow along with me. Okay, so let's go through the chords for this song. We have A minor, C, G, and a D, and then we throw in an E minor in the bridge. Okay, so it sounds like a lot, let's break it up. So A minor, A, C, E, kind of throws in that eerie sound or just kind of that melodramatic sound. Okay, that's an A minor. Scoot up to A, B, C note, and we have a C chord, C, E, G. Okay, then we're gonna play a G chord. You find the G note kind of in, tucked in between these three black notes, right here is a G. So G, B, D, okay? And then we do throw in an E minor, like I said, and a D just in the end. Um, so the E minor is E, G, B, and then a D chord, D, F sharp, A. Ooh, that one looks a little tricky, so let me break that down. It is actually a triangle shape, if that helps you. We have that D, F sharp, A, and it's kind of just this triangle shape, so hope that helps. Okay, so let's review. We have A minor, C, G, and then we have our E minor, and our D. Okay, so let me stop and also say that if you like to play the A minor here, or if you like to play it up here, there's a lot of flexibility when you are chording, so don't feel like you have to play it in the same position that I am. Um, find musical freedom, that's really fun. Okay, so left hand is gonna be playing single notes. So I'd probably camp my left hand finger five, that pinky down here, on A and line up my five fingers and then I think I can catch all of the notes in one, uh, in this position and not have to move my hand, okay? So when we play an A minor in our right hand, let's play single A in our left hand, okay? Then um, C to C. Uh, I guess the D will be there in that bridge like I talked about. E minor. And then the G, I guess you could uh, just swing open your pinky here. Actually, I might just move all of these down. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Put pinky on G, line up your five fingers, and then just swoop open for your E when you play your E minor. That might be a little bit easier on your wrist. Okay, so otherwise it's A to A minor, C to C. G to G, uh, D to D, and E minor. Just swoop open this thumb, and you don't have to move your hand out of position. Just open that up and play that note, okay? All right, the rhythm that we're gonna do to bring the two hands together is called together, right, together, right. Together, right, together, right. It's a nice marching rhythm. We can put uh, our A minor to that rhythm. Together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. You can practice that on any of the chords. C chord there. Just getting your hand used to playing two hands together. Pick up the D and so on. Together, right, okay? All right, um, I'm going to sing through the chorus since it kind of sometimes, I think it starts out with the chorus. It's a really slow song, tend to, um, I tend to speed it up too much, <laughs> so um, enjoy playing this one really slow, which is great. It just adds to the, just the drama of the music.
sizing it a little different than they do, but you get the picture. You can add your own flair to it. Um, <clears throat> so let's just notice some patterns right off the bat. The chorus has A minor, C, G for every line, okay? That's just a simple rhythm uh, with that A minor, C, G. Okay, you'll notice that I'm changing the chord above the word or the syllable in which I tried to write the chord sheet. I try to be pretty exact with that, so that helps you out. Um, so just that pattern is A minor, C, G. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, if you notice the verses, we have a pattern there too. We have C, G, C, G. Notice verse two, C, G, C, G. And then the only thing that, like I had mentioned in the beginning, the bridge throws in a little bit of uh, difference there with G, A minor, C, E minor, D. Um, and I don't even know if I know the bridge completely and how they do it, but I'm going to put my own spin on it. So, um, but you have the chords there. Okay, so let's look at the verse one and two, which are the same, but let's look at verse one. Okay, C. And I'm sorry when I've just gone. those and it just kind of sounds okay because obviously I'm doing it because <laughs> uh, when I'm sitting here recording I just cannot think of how their melody is for that anyway um, so uh, the chorus uh, let's just go back through that since I just walked through that in the beginning I'm caught up in your presence a minor and then to the C and I just wanna G C if you want. I just want you. Oops. You and nothing else. C. Nothing else. Jesus. I just want you. I'm caught up in your presence. That kind of goes to the chorus. I just want to sit here your feet. I'm caught up in this holy moment. See, I never want to leave. Okay, you could kind of uh, go back and forth between the verses, back to the chorus, to the bridge. It's really kind of just leaves it open-ended because it's so soft and beautiful. Um, I'm going to play it beginning to end. You can go back to the beginning if you need a little help going through those chords. Like I said, break it up into sections. You have the verses that are the same. The chorus just repeats A minor, C, G. And then um, the bridge, you might want to check out their original and see <laughs> how different it is from my little rendition here. All right, here we go. Holy 
Pray.